As global energy demand rises, the urgency for decarbonization also intensifies. All the technologies are already existing, so it is a question of acceleration. Business needs to act, and business can act when we pair technology and data. Our current energy system is a major contributor to climate change, accounting for 75% of emission while also posing energy security risk and lacking resilience against extreme weather events. There are emerging countries that they need energy. And we cannot tell them, no, 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 don't develop because we are emitting CO2. Without a stable grid, supply chains that power our world will begin to show stress. And that stress will show up in our businesses and our communities. Every single energy transition has been together with changes in the economy and our values as a society. The oil and gas energy transition was accompanied by a culture of consumption. The important thing was not having one car. The important thing was two cars, three cars. That is why energy is linked always with uh, economy and also with our values. The mindset shift in the renewable energy transition is one of the most important parts, from thinking of this as a future nice thing to do to understanding that this is a must-have for growth today. A prosumer is a consumer and a producer of energy. Why this is super important? Because it is you being independent of the grid, so it is the security of supply because it is cheaper. And then it is linked to your values, so because you want to contribute positively to the world and fight against climate change. But besides that, there is another advantage, which is that you are contributing to the stabilization of the grid. Consumers are increasingly engaged in their energy use and production, pushed by rising energy prices, more frequent outage, and a desire to live more sustainably. They are also pulled by technologies that connect devices in their homes and buildings like thermostats, electrical vehicles, solar panels and batteries to the grid and to each other. So with the ability to smartly consume and now produce energy, prosumers are able to actively manage their energy consumption. As number of prosumers and distributed energy resources increase, the traditional model is shifting to a bi-directional framework. And this creates a sharing energy economy. The rewards for prosumers are also many from reduced energy bill, increased energy independence, greater use of clean energy, even financial compensation from their utility provider. We envision a future where homes and buildings generate and store renewable energy, feeding excess back to the grid. The most important conversation we could be having right now is about climate resilience, including in our grid. We should be preparing our communities for the impacts of climate change and making sure we literally keep the lights on through that. We need more grid infrastructure, but at the same time, we need to be more efficient with the grid that it is already assisting. Modernizing the grid is challenging, costly, and time-consuming. To meet national climate and energy goals, we must add or replace 80 million kilometers of power lines by 2040, requiring significant operational and regulatory changes and doubling grid investment to over 600 billion USD annually by 2030 globally. Digital innovations related to these topics are super relevant at this moment of time. Tackling climate change will require all technologies approach. We have already seen remarkable success stories of clients leveraging our IoT-enabled ecostructure solution in different segments like buildings, utilities, data center, and much more. We are also leveraging new technologies that accelerate the energy transition, like virtual power plants, what we call VPPs, which are networks of energy resources that work together to provide grid power. 
VPPs can rapidly add significant search capacity and flexibility to the grid, and when integrated into an advanced distributed management system, the resulting automation is a game changer. We need a more sustainable energy system. Are we going to do it through shrinking? Or are we going to do it through growth? Of course it's through growth. And to grow sustainably, we will need to apply AI to our own efficiencies. AI will be at the heart of the modern electrical grid to develop predictive models of energy production and consumption to manage distributed resources accordingly. People and businesses make the difference when they are able to surface data and apply it to a new technology. Let's be optimistic. It is a very positive moment in life. We really can take the destiny in our hands and do something really beautiful so that the future is not only cleaner, but it is even better than today. We have more technology and options than ever to create data around energy we need and use, to share that data, and then to finally act on it. To make uh, happen the energy transition, we do need to collaborate together, where distributed energy resources will be adapted at scale, providing benefits to both businesses, consumers, industries, and utilities, and also decarbonize the planet.